टू इन्वेस्ट नाउ अब लालच आ गई डर भी आ गया लेकिन उम्मीद कायम है उसी को लेके आज हम डिस्कस आउट करेंगे हमारे साथ है शंकर सर और मेरा इंट्रोडक्शन है कि आई एम संजय टक्साली मैं केरिया कैपिटल में वेल्थ मैनेजमेंट का काम संभालता हूँ और आज इसी रूम में आया हूँ आप सबके साथ शंकर सर के साथ कुछ ना कुछ मार्केट की लड़ने सीख चेतन सर ओवर टेल यू या so uh, hi i'm chetan gill i've been associated with the financial services industry for the past 22 years and uh, have worked with uh, three banks and also with an asset management company and now i'm doing something on my own but um, the, the, that is one point of the thing but obviously we have come here to hear uh, shankar sir and the indian stock market club which we are associated with on clubhouse has around 16000 members and the delhi investor association also has around 20000 members and they are supporting today's discussion but that is a mix of youngsters and investment professionals that's what i wanted to tell shankar sir so there will be all kind of people in the audience uh, it's not only investment professionals uh, and everyone wants to know where the markets are headed for uh, regarding sir i think uh, i think is there anyone who hasn't heard the name shankar sharma in the indian financial markets i doubt i doubt that uh, sir is an ace investor a money manager and a person who spots multi baggers he also calls himself the great hair which i'll come to later when we have to ask him though hair is a rabbit who, uh, who is very fleet footed and who uh, i mean whose weight is less than a bull or a bear so that's going to be an interesting question for him later um, <laughs> so that is there <laughs> so that is there and um, just coming back to the topic i'll just come back i think uh, reema uh, you can also introduce yourself reema Yes, sir. I'll do that very quickly because I really, you know, hope to get the started session. Uh, st- I hope to get the, you know, session started really soon so that we can all learn a lot from Shankar sir. So, hi everyone. I'm Reema. Basically, I'm a marketing professional, but I am a stock market enthusiast. You can say a beginner or a learner, and I've been learning a lot from, you know, my teammates here, Sanjay, Chetan sir, and other people here. So that's just that. And uh, over to you, Chetan ji. Yeah, there was one other thing that I wanted to say. Uh, the life story of Sir Shankar Sir is very interesting. At the age of 26, he uh, quit a pushy, I mean a cushy job with Citibank and he started off his own firm. And just remember, in 1989, I doubted if anyone would have done that. Today, maybe people do it, but at that time, a youngster starting off his own venture, first global, and um, he also enjoyed the Harshad Mehta run. He took out some stocks before the crash, and even in the infotech boom, I've heard. that he was able to in cash in time first global uh, also got the membership of uh, london stock exchange and nasdaq the first asian company ex japan to get uh, the membership of these exchanges so there's a lot of things that, that he has done and i think that shows his conviction uh, and conviction in himself a 26 year old who went on to achieve these heights three decades uh, more than three decades as a market veteran i think hats off to you shankar sir and uh, that is uh, the thing uh, should we start shankar sir yes absolutely i am all set yeah so sir i would just say that as we know fear when the markets are going down we are fearful that the markets can go down to any level when the markets are going up we are greedy when the and then there is hope also that the markets will recover but the hope sometimes is a double edged sword if we have hope for stocks like the new age technology companies which might never recover like a hfcl in the past a penta media or even today a paytm i don't want it's a disclaimer i don't know too much about that but there's hope uh, many investors would have hope that they would recover what stage do you think the market is at present in the fear greed and hope stage and considering that there are many factors like people one third probability of a us recession and all where should one invest in that kind of scenario and uh, how to go about it right so before i answer the question i must tell you that penta media and hfc are not in the same camp hfc is actually today a higher market cap than what it used to be in year 2000 and i i have a very significant holding in it which i bought about 4 years back i think it about started at 16 17 rupees and bought it all the way down to 7 today i think it's about 80 85 so that's been a decent one um, you know so yeah s- stocks do recover not all of them but if you if you track companies over a very long period of time and that's really important here then you can figure out that this company or x company or y company will be the survivor of a problematic phase 
So I'm picking HFCL because you mentioned it, but there are many companies that survive a big downturn in markets or in their own industries and they survive it better than the others. And that's your long-term winner from that industry. And while I answer your question, it's important to for all listeners to get this very, very clearly that when a sector goes through a bad period, okay, and then we, we know over decades, you know, sectors have, they become flavors of the season and then they become the most hated things of that particular season or the following season, right? But you will find even in the depth of despair of that sector when it has gone out of favor, there will be one or two companies whose margins will be relatively better, whose numbers will be, while being bad, will still be better than their peers, who will be slowly gaining some share, who will have better strategies out of that problem situation. They are the guys you have to really track closely. I'm not saying they become automatic buys because the sector recession can last a fairly long time. We know that. But when there is a turnaround in the sector, those are the guys you will end up making the most money from. And I can give you one example. When I started my career in uh, in Citibank after my MBA, when I came back from abroad and joined Citibank, that time, the industry was dominated, the cement industry was dominated by a company called ACC. Okay? And then there were some other companies, but ACC was like the 800-pound gorilla in the industry. They, it had plants all over India, and if anybody knows cement, cement is a very regional business. There is nothing called a centralized cement company. While the head office might be in Bombay or in Delhi, plants have to be everywhere. And the reason for that are two. One is access and closeness to raw material, which is limestone. And second, of course, is freight because it's a very heavy item. So freight costs can really alter the economics of your business. So ACC had factories all over all over India. You know, I remember I was growing up in a small town called Dhanbad and ACC had a factory even there. Imagine that in Jharkhand, in the wild wilderness of Jharkhand, <laughs> ACC used to have a factory. And we used to see them. I, 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 I knew of ACC right from kindergarten because I used to see their buses transporting their people uh, from their homes to the to the factory and back. So ACC ka naam to mere ko mere khayal se char paanch saal ki umar se malum tha because usko unke buses deke. But the point is this: then came a little company called Gujarat Ambuja Cement. There they were born, I think, in eighty seven, if I'm not mistaken. My memory serves me right. And they, you know, we were in the business of investment banking, merchant banking. So we used to meet companies, and that time we met uh, Narottam Sekhariya. Unka bhi office mere ka Nariman point mein tha, hamara bhi wahi par tha. I was a young kid of 25, you know, along with some of the seniors, we would meet them and see what they were doing and all that. And I used to come away amazed at his thinking. And while I never bought the stock, okay, unfortunately, because I never believed that cement would do well, and it didn't do well for a number of years, but that's not the point. The point is this, cement was very cyclical. But because of their innovations that they brought to the table, even in an industry where they were like tiny, I think when I, when I, I whatever I remember, their capacity was like two or five percent of ACC's capacity. And we know that in large capex oriented industries, capacity determines your profitability because the more the capacity, fixed cost being the same, once you cross that, you become very profitable. Margins really shoot up, whether it's steel or cement or autos. So a tiny company's ability to match the margins of a large company are very, very slim. In that, Ambuja did amazing things, and I'll give you two examples. One example was that they innovated on power costs, and they did some amazing level of engineering because cement is a highly power-intensive industry. They brought their consumption you know, per ton of, of, of production to levels that probably in, probably in the world. I remember Cemex is a company in Mexico. They modeled themselves after that company, which was Cemex is like a huge, huge you know, cement company in Latin America. And they benchmarked against them, them and probably they bettered them on this front. So that itself gave them extra margin. So what they were not able to do through the 
production part because obviously you need capital to grow to the levels of acc so utna to paisa hai nahi to margin kaise banega margin banega ki even in an industry where you think there are no margins available through process innovation they managed to squeeze out margins that was one and then they did something was unbelievable they said yaar ki hum hamara plan to they were basically a you know western india company and i think later on they set up something in himachal pradesh because they were limestone they said that why are we always looking at uh, terrestrial uh, ways to transport cement why can we not do it on the sea and and everybody said sea se kaise hoga they said sea se karenge hum west se chalenge gujarat se and wahan se hum jayenge and seedha we will service all the markets baki jo north ka market hai wahan to hum chale jayenge through road and through rail but all other markets south india and all we go through sea so they they bought barges and they started sub, uh, you know supplying through you know basic transporting through through barges that again gave them a huge freight advantage and you know at least they it made them on somewhat on parity with another company which had plants all over india so what i'm trying to say is that you know i've given you you know an example which was when i was starting in this business you know 30 32 years back it's it till date it resonates in my mind that how even in an existing well understood well done industry a new competitor who has who uske paas aur kuch hai hi nahi without innovation he is dead because he can't compete with the giants but that one guy will survive and prosper and you seen how well acc have i mean how how well ambuja has done versus you know the accs of the world so that is the answer to your question about you know that होप ट्रेड क्या होता है नहीं होता है बट यू नो देर इन एवरी बैड साइकिल कंपनी सर्वाइव एंड वन और टू कंपनीज आई मीन आई वाज टॉकिंग टू समबडी दिस मॉर्निंग या बंच ऑफ यंग किड्स वुड कम टू मीट मी एंड इन दैट वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द प्रीवियस बेयर मार्केट इन टेक्नोलॉजी स्टॉक्स बिकॉज दिस टाइम ऑल्सो मेनी हैव बीन क्रश फिफ्टी एट्टी नाइनटी नाइनटी फाइव परसेंट इन द यूएस एंड इन इंडिया फिफ्टी परसेंट एंड आई वॉज टेलिंग दैम दैट इवन इन दैट द uh nasdaq meltdown basically the survivors were ebay and amazon and out of thousands of companies two guys survived and then you knew that you have to put money on those two both ebay also did very well for a number of years may not have done well lately but it has done phenomenally well and of course amazon we all know so any bad situation look for in that industry or if it's a macro meltdown which companies are surviving better than the rest i mean it may sound very common sensical but we lose sight of this very basic common sense when there is a problem and you know meltdowns happen sectors go into a funk chemical industry exactly the same thing 2000 i think uh, after the the beijing olympics it went into a huge slump and you know from 2011 12 revival somewhat started but not a lot and then there were company like atul and you know company like deepak nitride etc if you were tracking the industry you could have seen that those guys are the numbers quarter on quarter are coming out quite okay they are managing their cash flows well i mean we know how well they have done in the in the in, in the 10 years afterwards so that's really a big you know point i wanted to get across to all the listeners now what is your question is where do we go from here correct if i remember your question correctly uh, yes it was uh, that where are we on the fear greed and hope index and uh, especially this us thing a lot of commentators are now talking about technical indicators 2 10 year yield or a slow down or a recession whether that comes or not is obviously a separate matter but um, from what i read from your interview also you are a little circumspect about the entire market you you are more bullish on pockets but what would you say that invest uh, what is the current scenario like do you think really the us could go into a slowdown or a recession so uh, one important perspective again is to uh, look at data and uh, by in the middle of 2021 you know i asked our guys to just basically run the numbers and see that how many times in this world in a 100 year period have we had four back to back up years in markets to so india mein to hamare paas 30 35 saal mere kal 40 saal ka data hai but globally we have nearly 80 it even 100 years data what came out is that that after two strong up years the third year being up year is a 50 50 chance okay it's not like an 80% chance because half the data says that 
you get a down year half says it get up year so mota mota you have a 50% probability of an up year but if you have three back to back up years then there is virtually no chance that the fourth year is going to be an up year okay now that is again common sensical rudimentary analysis and often times we complicate very simple things in investing sometimes the most obvious things you know are forgotten and if you just go back to the basics and always through numbers and data you will see that some patterns just stand out and that pattern came to me that if assume for a minute 2021 was also going to be an up year in global markets that would have made it that would make it three consecutive up years so 19 was a very strong year 20 was a very strong year 21 was a very strong year okay that meant that 2022 was going to be a problematic year even by i think april or may when we did it i told my guys that look guys i mean let's let's hope that actually 2021 hi down year ho jaye jisse ki kam se kam 2022 hame up year mil jayega but as we know you know hoping is different but it actually turned out to be a good year which meant that we were set up for a troublesome year in 2002 2022 already it was like reading the horoscope of the market let's put it this way not that i believe in it believe in horoscopes that is but it was basic rudimentary analysis which told me that 2022 will be a problematic year so and we are seeing that it is already a problematic year at least in so far as uh, most markets in the world are concerned uh because we have had three back to back very 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 strong years i mean 19% globally up in 2019 or maybe 2022% then obviously 20 was a very strong year and 21 has been a strong year so you know what i'm seeing right now doesn't surprise me it also should at least come across to all listeners that being prepared uh for such outcomes through data again not through just lazy opinions keeps you very sane when that situation happens it's almost like knowing the movie in advance that ye ho ye, ye ab hoga because that is a high probability ki ab ye hone wala hai jaise purani hindi picturon mein hame malum tha interval tak naj gana hota hai uske baad fir interval ke baad baap ladki ka baap ek villain ko bulata hai kehta hai yaar ye ladke ko maro pito because ye meri ladki ko leke bhag jayega to fir the story goes south you know all kinds of fights and all you know jo bhi खराब खराब चीजें होती हैं एंड वी आल्सो देन नो दैट एंड में एक हैप्पी पिक्चर होगा जिसमें बाप भी हैप्पी रहेगा ससुर भी हैप्पी रहेगा मिया बीबी सारे हैप्पी रहेंगे विलन जेल जा रहा होगा सो so बेसिकली ये अगर मूवी आपने देखी हिंदी पिक्चर पुराने वाले कम से कम तो मतलब मालूम था यार क्या होगा मिडिल में क्या होगा एंड में तो इफ यू लुक एट एंड दैट इज बिकॉज यू सीन टू मूवीज अगेन दैट इज डेटा टेलिंग यू सो अगेन मार्केट का भी डेटा उस तरह कही अगर आप डेटा के एनालिस्ट हो तो यू विल सी सर्टन पैटर्न से मर्ज सो देर there is a problematic patch for sure but problematic patches have to be welcomed they should not be hated i always say this that you will learn more about investing in these kinds of situations because they will first of all tell you about yourself most of investing is really discovering yourself it is not discovering stocks for me my biggest learnings have been that हाउ मेनी वीकनेसेस आई हैव एज एन इंडिविजुअल अदरवाइज तो कोई बताता नहीं ना बीबी बताते ना माँ बाप कोई नहीं बताता ना दोस्त बताते मार्केट तो बता देता है बॉस की बॉस तुम्हारे अंदर ये वीकनेसेस है एंड मार्केट इज 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 ब्रूटली ऑनेस्ट एंड आई लव इट सो आई एम सेंग प्रॉब्लमैटिक पैच है इसको भी झेलेंगे कई देखे हैं आगे भी देखेंगे देर इज नो रीजन टू पैनिक देर इज नो रीजन टू फील डिस्पॉन्डेंट देर नो रीजन टू वरी अबाउट लॉसेज अगर आप आए हो बॉक्सिंग रिंग में तो लगेंगे आपको कुछ 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 ब्लोज ऐसी क्या बात है कि मतलब नहीं लगेंगे बट विल विल डील विद इट एंड व्हेन वी गेट हिट इज व्हेन वी विल लर्न द मोस्ट सर बट आई हैड आल्सो रेड योर व्यू समवेयर दैट यू फील दैट द 70% ऑफ द सेंसेक्स शेयर वोंट गो एनीवेयर दिस ईयर एंड यू आर बेटिंग मोर ऑन स्मॉल कैप्स टू कंपाउंड योर मनी बट वी हैव ऑलवेज बीन ट्रेन टू अंडरस्टैंड इन द मार्केट्स that large caps have less risk and small caps are the most riskiest but here in you are uh, i mean the logic is being turned on its head and you, uh, which could be right also which has happened many times in the indian market but you are saying that bet on maybe a concentrated list of uh, stocks which you would like to do so why is that uh, do you think the economic moats the price earning ratios were too high for some of this huls and the banks and all 
Yeah, so I mean, I've been very vocal about my views on the FMCG space and the banks for the last, I think, two or three years that that trade is really yesterday's trade. That trade is not a future trade. Uh, and in part, it's because of very high valuation. So if you buy a stock, it's just 60, 70 times earnings, okay? And you assume for a minute that that multiple is constant. Then for the stock to give you a 20% CAGR, earnings have to grow 20%, correct? Only then it will give you at that constant multiple a 20% stock price return. Who in his right senses would expect these kinds of large companies, <clears throat> okay, whose profits are already, you know, you're talking the, the, the FMCGs and the banks, whose profits are into, you know, multiples of 5,000 crores. They have a single market, which is India, okay? Even though we might say India is still a large country, underpenetrated, but the reality is that, that in most products that these guys are selling, the penetration is decent. It is not too bad. And the penetration where it is low, the cost of accessing that market is extremely high, which for an organized sector player is very, very hard. Okay, so for a bank to go and set up a branch, if you look at your branch banking in, in banks, ki, apne private sector banks, ki, they are nowhere compared to what the public sector is. I think the difference is like 10x. Okay, and that is the, the reason why it's not that ki branch khole mein koi rocket science. Hai. Branch khole mein kya jata hai? Matlab aapko 500,000 square feet chahiye, ek aad branch branch manager chahiye, do char RM chahiye, bobs ke bande chahiye, ho gaya branch. Kyun nahi khulta? Kyunki viability nahi hoti hai. That is the problem. So in theory, India is a very big country and there will be growth and this and that. We all know that. But the demand, but the but the paying capacity drops off dramatically after the metros and let's say the top 15 odd cities have been exploited. Okay. Then it is a long haul. It is not that it's not, not going to be profitable ever. But in the interim, you as a large organized player, your infrastructure cost, you will not be able to compete for those slim pickings in those you know, tier 3, 5, 8, 20 level towns. So, that's why cost structure will never be in the cost structure. Which is why the growth for these companies at some point, I expected, will slow down. Okay, Because they have already gained market shares of a significant size in the markets where there's profit available. I'm not saying that way. But that level of growth that we have seen in the past is unlikely to be repeated in the future. But the market was pricing as if that growth is a permanent growth. That CAGR of whatever HDFC Bank has done in earnings is, a, is, is going to be the same thing is going to be replicated again in the future. If you just do the back of the envelope of compounding of 15-18% profit for these companies, in three, four years, you're talking numbers which are unimaginable in terms of profit size. How is that even possible? Given the fact that they're already large, given the fact that they're only in a single country, they don't sell. HDSC Bank has virtually zero business abroad. Hindustan Lever is an Indian company selling only in India. So there is a limit to their sizes. But on small caps, that's not the case. If you're a small FMCG company and there are many little snack food companies here and there, you know, in regional size, there's no wafer, there's no churan, churan, whatever you want. Those your cost structures are like that you can buy two towns of Kanpur in Kanpur because you are a very low cost player. So that growth will be in small places. वो ग्रोथ इन कंपनियों को जाएगा बड़ी कंपनियों के कॉस्ट स्ट्रक्चर में वो वायबल हो ही नहीं सकता है यू सी व्हाट आई एम सेइंग बट छोटी कंपनी है कॉस्ट स्ट्रक्चर पर अगर आप आप छोटा बैंक हो बहुत ही स्मॉल बैंक हो आप वहां पर ब्रांच लगा सकते हो आप तो एक छोटे से 100 150 स्क्वायर फीट का भी ब्रांच भी आप काम कर that is why the market from here on belongs to small caps. In India, there is growth, hai, but un, 
एरियाज ऑफ द मार्केट में ग्रोथ है कंट्री में ग्रोथ है जहां पर लार्ज कंपनीज के लिए उतनी प्रॉफिट मार्जिन उपलब्ध नहीं है इफ यू सी वॉट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से Sir, I would just like to give an anecdote about you. It is said that in uh, the Harshad Mehta time, you were able to come out of the stocks in time, and also in the uh, infotech boom, one February, just before the March uh, peak of the infotech boom in two thousand, you sold off your stocks. I think you were uh, uh, written about that. But yeah. you were you were also an early investor in Apple and Amazon, from what right. I have learned. Right. Yeah, but uh, the anecdote I want to ask you what was the great hair? You call yourself the great hair. Now this great hair believes uh, hair is obviously a rabbit. Believes in timing the market and does not believe too much in fundamentals. He's fleet-footed and he's not uh, uh, as fat as a bull or a bear to slow down his progress. So what would you say to that? You you uh, you do not believe in fundamentals and you believe that you should uh, just time the uh, exit and entry in a stock and not fall in love with the stocks. No, so I believe fully in fundamentals all day long. That's the only thing I do. Even today, I've had I've met one company and I've had conference calls with two companies. So that's nothing but fundamentals. So <clears throat> being hairish doesn't mean you don't look at fundamentals. All it means is that when fundamentals start to turn, the hair will turn quick. The bull and the bear are too too big, too fat, too slow moving. uh in or you know in uh, to be able to pivot quickly and uh, you know easily that is the problem with large animals a small animal is always going to be more fleet of foot and the stock market uh you know being fleet of foot means fleet of thinking that your mind is very flexible it is not rigid so when i say be hairish i only say this to myself that i want to avoid one mindset and that is a rigid mindset i want to keep my mind open i want to keep my mind flexible it is exactly like when you are working out you want to keep your muscles loose and supple and not rigid and or hard because the harder your muscles are the more likely you are to injure yourself the more loose and supple you are that's why stretching get their trainers why stretching will not build your muscle stretching will make sure that your muscle that you build will remain that way that will not get damaged in a bad bad accident so that is the same thing in investing that i like to keep an open mind good companies become bad companies bad companies become good companies okay and that happens all the time but i will never be of the view that bad companies will always remain bad or that good companies will always remain good because i have seen in my experience many things come and go which were considered to be the holy grail and then 2 years later they were they were gone or things that you were that people used to say is isme kuch bhi nahi ho sakta ye industry third class hai and i'll give you a couple of examples isme kuch bhi nahi hoga industry third class hai matlab you know forget it and the biggest winners came out of that and amazon and apple are actually two very very good cases in point when out of the dot com bust basically apple was not a dot com company so to be clear it's it was a hardware company not really dot com internet related company at that point in time but amazon survived it barely we only now know how it survived by the skin of its teeth and i remember uh, when we when we did the numbers on amazon in 2001 and when when i bought it in february 2001 if i remember correctly it was i think 14 15 dollars at that time and uh, we prior to buying you know we had done the numbers the numbers looked very interesting again fundamentals they turned free cash flow positive which the street was ignoring street was so uh, you know sort of bearish oh, entire wall street was bearish lehman brothers morgan stanley every single analyst had a sell on it i think it was 90 95% sell ratings which is anyway always a good thing from a buy perspective always look at consensus if consensus is uniformly bearish you know it's always a good bullish sign Rest everything needing need, needed to be need, needing to be analyzed. So, हमने तो जेब बेजोस की ईमेल भेजा जेब बेजोस came on to a call with us along with his CFO and they confirmed that our numbers were correct. And in fact, then after that, after we put out a buy report, he sent us a he sent us a thank you note saying that thanks for the support. You know, of course, that time he was the equivalent of a uh, you know let's say another you know debt laden bankrupt company. He was not the Jeff Bezos we know now. So. so the point is that again through fundamentals and looking at as i mentioned that 
in a bad situation who is relatively better off amazon was better off and you know i had no idea it was going to go up 300 times no idea or 200 times you know mujhe laga 15 dollar ka 30 40 dollar ho jayega 100% to isme isme banega wo 1000 banega na you know whatever banega ye to sab hindsight ki baat hai so always the trade should be you know analyze ki can i make 100% or not because that is where your skill lies rest is all luck anybody who says that i unearthed a multi bagger that went up 50 times all nonsense because the guy even the guy running the company has no idea it will go up 50 times you can know it will get it can go up one time so or maximum two time ho sakta hai yahan se koi 20 time 40 time 50 time 100 time kisi ko nahi malum na apple ko malum tha steve jobs ko khud nahi malum tha that was also a bankrupt company market cap was less than infosys you know when i bought it by the way in 2002 again fundamentals were purely fundamental analysis so the point is being hairish means that it was they were these these were both very very bad company street opinion was very negative i was also negative numbers were negative but when numbers turned at least one had an open mind to be able to change one's point of view market mein maine yahi dekha aadmi insaan marta hi tab hai jab your point of view is rigid when your point of view is fixed and that's why i'm saying being being hairish means i keep my mind open to change all the time yeah uh, thank you sir i want to ask one question with all due respect i hope you don't mind um, that is regarding this uh, hairish thing only while you uh, uh, obviously have uh, have given the examples of being a hair a uh, section of the media at one particular point of time uh, labeled you as the great bear so would you like to say anything on that they considered you a little bearish on the indian market at time or on stocks so would you yeah. uh, so i yeah, yeah absolutely and i have been bearish at different points in time i'll give you the two biggest times at which i have been bearish i was bearish in 2000 extremely on the tech boom and frankly speaking if you were bullish at that time you were going to be living in you know sub saharan africa because that's the only thing you can afford you you would have gone by bankrupt so the reason why i'm sitting here enjoying life is that i was bearish then i sold my stock and you know at a very young age i was i think in my mid 30s at that time i became suddenly a seriously wealthy guy and that was only because i was bearish so being bearish is not bad being bearish only only does this to you it protects your profits okay so that was one second was 2007 end uh, when this whole subprime thing was beginning to emerge again four years of relentless bull market and i told my guys in my office ki boss ye market to gaya matlab i can tell you this market is a goner and i think you know there was a famous cnbc interview with uday and at that point i think in january when i when index was i think sensex was i think 18 19000 and i said we are going to see four figures on the index and you know that really put the seal of a bear on me but uh, but yeah i mean uh, and, and actually i think it did 8000 on the sensex if i remember correctly but barring that those two instances and you cannot tell me that those instances were wrong they were absolutely right from every analytical fundamental perspective now why did people not get it don't ask me it was staring us in the face the problem with people again is this rigid mindset i made my biggest money being bull you know being a bull from 98 till 2000 i put in uh, barely i think i remember 20 crores in the market okay 98 in the next 2 years i was up 20x okay and that is not being bearish boss that is being crazily bullish right now when i'm sitting on that much money and i am a mid 30s guy i and i and i looked at my panel and said that you're an idiot you don't know anything about this and suddenly you got so much money that means this world is not right there is something wrong in this world when a fool like you can make so much money so therefore when fool start to make money it's time to become a little wise and take money off your table and so basically i have no illusions okay it was pure luck you know the trade got right and by the way that came out of a bad trade when i lost a lot of money shorting tech stocks in 97 i was cleaned out i went nearly bust from there i turned again being hairish so again i'm pointing out to the instances when i changed my mind when i shorted infosys and the stock went up three times i was virtually bankrupt at that point in time i remember in 97 uh, 97 early 98 and from i think february march 
I turned. That's that's the point of being hairish, and I became a bull. I went long, and the rest is history. But I changed my mind again in February of two thousand. I saw the craziness had gone too far, and I sold my stock. And thankfully, you know, the markets also fell. So again, the point is, being bearish is a good thing. It is not a crime. At chosen points in time, it protects you from disaster. It protects you. And remember, if you made that much money and you sold, and let let's say the market kept going up, what the hell does it matter, boss? I mean, you made twenty x. I mean, क्या फर्क पड़ता अगर वहाँ से अगर double हो गया तो? Be satisfied because in markets, if you think that you're going to ever become totally happy and satisfied, it is not going to happen. Oh, ho hi nahi sakta hai. Ya hamesha lagega yar thoda aur lena tha niche mein. Yar thoda aur bej dete upper mein. Wo to permanently regret rehna hai market mein. Ye to main manke hi chalta hu yar ki mere ko andar to dukh hoga hi hoga. Achhe trade mein bhi dukh hoga. It's like cricket na ab saw banaoge. Ab dekho batsman jo achhe batsman hai to out hoke aate hai, wo sare ilate hoye aate hai. यार हंड्रेड मारा लेकिन यार दो सौ मार सकते थे यू कैन सी राइट वी नो ऑन द टेलीविजन यू कैन सी देम शेकिंग देर हेड वेन दे गो टू दिलियन मार्केट भी वही है हंड्रेड भी बनाओगे आपको लगेगा यार डेढ़ सौ बन जाता था दो सौ बन जाता था तो मान के चलो रिग्रेट होगा वो रिग्रेट पैसे बना के मैं रिग्रेट करना चाहता हूँ पैसे खो के नहीं करना चाहता हूँ एंड दैट इज वेयर स्ट्रेटेजिकली बींग स्लाइटली कंजर्वेटिव यू कैन कॉल इट बेरिश और बींग कंजर्वेटिव हैज ऑलवेज हेल्प मी आई वुड स्ट्रांगली रिकमेंड दैट पीपल हु वॉन्ट टू हैव अ लॉन्ग इनिंग्स इन दिस गेम should also be conservative at crucial points in time a uh, very well said shankar sir and brutally honest you gave us the figures also of making 20x then uh, though i never asked you that from 2009 to 2021 22 uh, i don't want the m- amount invested i just wanted to know how many times did you grow from 2009 to 22 <laughs> i can tell you this was that that 1998 2000 you know was far more Exhilarating because it came in such a short span of time, and of course I was younger. So young me, youth me, thoda speed ka maza jada aata hai. When you grow older, then you know it's okay. You become a little bit more experienced and hence more jaded. But yeah, I mean anyway, you know, chalta rehta hai sab yar. Dal roti nikalni chahiye. Yeah, very well said. Uh, I'll just bring in one of my co-hosts, Rima. I think she wanted to ask something. Rima, over to you. Yes, I wanted to ask a quick question. So. Uh... Shankar sir, I had this uh, quick question that if you could answer that briefly. So, like you said that uh, you have made money in the bear market as well. So, could you just tell me very briefly on the indicators that uh, you know, like, uh, made you take those actions, like you know, with a lot of conviction that you had a lot of faith that this will work out. So, could you like uh, help yeah, yeah. us? You know, like, yeah. Yeah, I'll tell you. One of the key things that I always watch out, watch out for is market breadth. Okay. and that's an indicator you can program it in your computer and you can you know easily track it is not difficult in both those cases like in 2000 and in 2007 the markets were making highs the indexes were making highs but it was coming from a narrower and narrower list of stocks it was like literally 80% of the move or 90% of the move was coming from like 10% of those stocks it was like that it will not like a 60 40 or a 50 50 kind of spread so now when you see mania okay you see crazy valuations you see complete and total complacence when people are relax kya re kuch nahi hai yaar permanently bull market rahega koi problem nahi hai party mein jaoge to log ek hi baat karenge मीडिया में एक ही बात होगी सीएनबीसी पे एक बात होगी ईटी नाव पे एक बात होगी इकोनॉमिक टाइम्स पे कवर में आएगा कि इंडिया नेक्स्ट सेंचुरी हो जाएगा और इंडिया इज गोइंग टू बी और और मार्केट विल नेवर पॉज इस तरह की बातें होंगी एंड देन यू पुट दो हेडलाइंस इन कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ ए मार्केट वेर द टेप इज टेलिंग यू दैट नाउ इट्स बिकमिंग अ वेरी वेरी नैरो मार्केट विच मीन्स इट बिकमिंग अ हॉलोड आउट मार्केट उसमें सब्सटेंस कम है फ्लफ ज्यादा है राइट सो इट्स लाइक आप जो लस्सी पीते थे पुराने जमाने आप पता नहीं मैं तो बहुत दिन से पिया नहीं हूं जिसमें कि वो बंदा उसमें इतना उसको मत देता था कि वो मतलब बेसिकली आपको फोम ही दे रहा है वो दही तो उसमें है ही नहीं नीचे में राइट सो स्टार्टिंग आउट वो देता था ज्यादा दही कम फोम धीरे धीरे करके वो मार्केट बन गया ज्यादा फोम और कम दही तो हैज इट बिकम दैट लस्सी वेयर पैसे तो उतने ही लग रहे हैं लेकिन उसमें अब एक्चुअली जिस चीज के लिए पी रहे हैं वो वो बहुत ही कम रह गया हो तो मार्केट बिकम लाइक दैट द लॉर्ड ऑफ फ्लफ लॉर्ड ऑफ फोम वेरी लिटिल सब्सटेंस वेन यू मैरी दैट एनालिसिस विद द ब्रेड टू द मार्केट 
and then all these bullish and crazy headlines when you see you know very young people when very very young people suddenly becoming very wealthy like an idiot like me back 20 years back put it all together it is fairly easy to know ki maybe there is not a bear market but there is going to be a significant correction and at that point in time if you are able to take money off the table you know i think you've done the right thing let the mania continue it doesn't matter as i said ki market mein aisa to koi perfect din aayega hi nahi ki har cheez aapne top pe bech diya har cheez bottom mein le liya wo to kuch sawal hi nahi paida hota we always have to deal in a certain range if you are in that relatively top end of the range aapne exit kar liya वहां से वो मार्केट 50 परसेंट ऊपर भी चला गया क्या फर्क पड़ता यू स्टिल एग्जिटेड मनी इन द बैंक यू कन्वर्टेड दैट मनी आपने जाके कुछ गोलगप्पे खा लिए या अपने हस्बैंड या वाइफ को कुछ खरीद के दे दिया वो तो वही रियल है बाकी तो ये तो पेपर ही है एंड पेपर को रियल करना बहुत जरूरी होता है एंड दैट इज वाई ऐसे थोड़ा बेरिश अगर हो जाओ की, की मोमेंट्स में वो वेल्थ जो पेपर पे है डीमेट अकाउंट में है यू नो फ्यूचर ऑप्शन में खड़े हैं उसको रियल लाइफ में लेके आओ जो छुट्टी मना लो मैं तो चला गया था स्पेन अपनी वाइफ के साथ में उस वक्त मुझे अच्छी तरह से याद है वेंट फॉर अ वन मंथ हॉलीडे ये पैसे कमा लिए अब चलो स्पेन चलते हैं तो रियल हो गया ना मजा आया अभी तक याद है मुझे yes. uh, sir, Because you can unmute yourself. Or oh, money, money. You want to start uh, ask a question? Yes, of course. Um, so good to see you guys. I think it it's been uh, going well. And uh, of course, my question goes back to uh, Shankar ji. So Shankar ji, you know, I've been looking up to some of the companies in the new emerging sectors like five G, EV, solar, and drone technologies. I think the story that is playing out right now, nothing concrete in terms of number. We are seeing in terms of revenue wise. so my question goes back to how do you choose best companies in these new emerging sectors where fundamentals are not good or maybe the space is still relatively new correct now that's a good question all that i said in the beginning applies to an existing sector which has a fairly long operating history so a steel or cement or auto or whatever chemicals right in a new emerging sector you have no idea because there is not enough data to for you to make any view on ki ye company survivor hai ye company prosperer hai ye company bankrupt ho jayegi you have no idea therefore the approach i have taken for such things is to buy all of them so har sector mein 5 7 8 company hogi emerging actually dhanki you don't know who is going to be the winner each promoter sounds very good they sound very convincing this and they're a good story yaar so thoda thoda sab ka hi le lete hain धीरे धीरे करके द डस्ट विल सेटल डाउन एंड द विनर और द विनर्स विल इमर्ज दैट्स द ओनली वे यू विल नो सो इफ यू इफ यू गो बैक टू इंडियन आई टी इंडस्ट्रीज अ वेरी गुड एग्जाम्पल इज दैट इट वॉज अ नेसेंट सेक्टर इज एक्जैक्टली लाइक दो सेक्टर यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट टूडे इन नाइनटीन नाइनटी थ्री नाइनटीन नाइनटी फोर आई रिमेंबर आई वॉज एट अ गैदरिंग इन बैंगलोर विद नंदन नंदन लेलकनी एंड दैट्स वेन आई फर्स्ट मेट इम ऑफकोर्स बिकेम अ गुड फ्रेंड लेटर ऑन बट I asked him, "Ki what is your turnover and all that?" He said, "This year we'll do five crores or something like that, if I remember correctly." Okay, I mean, imagine that. So <laughs> this is ninety-three or ninety-four, something like that. So now at that point, there was also uh, Satyam had just come in. You know, uh, you know, a couple of other companies. Vipro had just kind of started because Vipro is largely a Vanaspati company. You know, IT was just a very small part of it. Uh, TCS was unlisted. there was a whole bunch of other companies that started to come in around the y2k boom 96 97 now did we have any idea who are going to be survivors of today no way so the approach one took was ki yaar ye 8 10 companies sabhi le lo thoda thoda fir dekhte hain ki kya hota hai ab usme se teen char bahut hi winners ho gaye baki 7 8 to gayab ho gaye dot com bust mein visual soft the aur kya hai ssi the pata nahi kya kya the sab wo khatam hi ho gaye zero ho gaye humne zero pe nahi apne beech mein nikal diya lekin at least we knew ki we had no idea it's a good sector but who's going to be the winner we have no idea let let's buy a portfolio approach to this instead of buying stock by stock that's exactly what i would recommend even in the sectors you have mentioned great thank you for answering over to you chetan ji yeah uh, i think mr sukumar you wanted to ask some question yes sir good evening uh, shankar ji i have been wanting to speak to you and uh, meet you for the last 16 17 years and excellent uh, meeting it was i been mean, we are actually uh, you are all role model to all of us thank you very much actually for excellent speech that you have given for some time 
I would like to actually ask you one question, sir. What is your call on recent IPOs? Actually, every alternative day, there is actually one IPO which has come in for the last two, three years. And most of the IP IPOs are actually not creating wealth to investors. What's your call on that, sir? Number one. Number two, uh, which is a sector actually you are very bullish for the next 10, 15 years. How can we create wealth like you? So, request you to actually answer for this question, sir. Thank you. So, IPOs typically will not make you much money. Okay, to be absolutely clear, occasionally one or two will do very well, but those usually will not be the better marketed, better known IPO. There will be IPOs that are under marketed or undersold, or at least there were not very many takers for that IPO. Those usually end up surprising on the way up. But by and large, IPO say you will that you are going to become very rich is going to be extremely difficult unless okay. you are a unless you are a pre IPO investor. If you were that. Then that's a different story altogether. But investing through the IPO itself, you're not going to become rich. I mean, I can guarantee you that, you know, Ekadme, you will make money, but in others, you will lose money. Average out, it's a waste of time. Okay. So I, okay, that is one. 10, 15 years is too long. I can tell you that for the visible future, anything to do with the environment. I think is a great place to be in. So companies that are going to clean up the environment, companies that are going to make India a more livable place where you know pollution is tackled or air pollution, water pollution, all of those companies, I think, will have huge business going forward. Maybe many of them are not listed. Maybe they are unlisted. It's time okay. to hunt for those. Because if I look at the activism of the courts in India, which is all for the better for us as citizens, the National Green Tribunal is extremely harsh on polluters. It means that companies will no longer be able to dump their waste in you know, you know, know, sewers and in the rivers and pollute our rivers and seas. So companies that help clean, clean up these things, I, I think are going to be absolute winners. Uh, the last question, sir. How to actually find out the next Infosys and HDFC when we actually see, had you invested? We have actually seen a lot of these stories in the last 15, 16 years. We are unable to find such kind of companies. So what's your suggestion to all of us, sir? You will find, of course. I mean, market is a permanent, uh, you know, giver. This, this, this never stops giving. I can tell you this. This is a permanent stream. It never dries up. You think the next HDFC bank is not available? It will be. I mean, in, in the last two years' time, we have seen stocks okay. have gone up five, ten times in just after the COVID crash itself. So, uh, you know, I think you are spoiled for choice. I, in, I mean, I can tell you, even at my stage of investing journey, I find mm -hmm. I'm amazed at the kinds of opportunities that exist. The point is this, okay? You will not find only one. You should find 25. Out of that, two or four will become the Infosys and the HDFC Bank. But Actually, you, you cannot, you cannot so you start out thinking, I'll put money in only two and they will they will become HDFC Bank. Actually, uh, it's a good answer. Actually, if we, if we see uh, the overall market cap of equity mutual funds in India, it's approximately 20 lakh crore of equity assets. Uh, 60 to 70 percent of the money is only some 10, 15 companies like Infosys, HDFC Bank and Reliance Industries. So there is a lot of money skewed towards only 10, 15 companies. Don't you don't you think it is, you know, it will be very risky for the investors investing 20 lakh crores only into, I mean, 10, 15 lakh crores only into 20, 20 companies in India? Yes, 100%, which is why I've said that, you know, in, in a market like India, buying 10, 15 companies is really, uh, you know, for that, why do you need a mutual fund? Yeah? You may as well go and buy them. So it is lazy yeah. investing. Uh, in, in large part, it is also the comfort of not being flexible. As I said, people become fixed in their thinking, ke to company grow karegi, which is what I said, that being hairish okay. simply keeps you flexible. That's all it does. So what's your call on uh, recent uh, Adani Group company? So is it sustainable, sir? Because we have never seen such kind of uh, you know, wealth creation in just a matter of two, three years. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's mind boggling. Uh, one second, one second. I'll just interrupt. Uh, Sukumarji, this has to be the last question because there are some other people yeah. also waiting in the line. Uh, sure, Shankar, sure. No, I think uh, Gautam Adar is a fabulous entrepreneur. I mean, you know, people might say whatever they want to say, but I'm of the view that his execution skills are fantastic. It's not a comment on the stock price. I'm more interested in the entrepreneur. I think he's just in a different league. I mean, whether the stock prices go up or they come down, we will see now. That. That's a different discussion. But uh, just as, a, as an entrepreneur, I think he has surprised everybody. Thank you very much. Sir. Thank you. Thank you.
Yeah, we move on to the next speaker, Mr. Mohit. Uh, thanks, guys. I will have to leave in five minutes because I've got a dinner meeting. Okay, okay sir. Thank uh, th- thanks, Chetan, and thanks, Anjit. Um, Mr. Shankar ji, I I do have a question. You talked uh, one question on what you what you said previously, maybe. Uh, uh, a bit more discussion on that, and second is you talked about the U.S. tech, which is down by let's say forty, fifty, ninety percent. So, uh, I mean, what are you looking at at the moment? The reason I ask is probably you said somewhere that uh, you picked up Amazon at some hundred. So, would like to learn from you there because looks like uh, looks like you had certain certain skills which certainly uh, I could learn from. so that's one question and second is you talked about uh, big and small companies big being um, hdfcs or or any other company uh, um, a large cap uh, and uh, your uh, view was it is difficult for them to grow from where they are um, i'm not 100% sure i subscribe with that so maybe uh, the, the reason being i mean what has happened in the in the us around tech let's say or even the big banks right like the ibs morgan or jp morgan or goldman whatever so just wanted to kind of uh, get your view on both those things no so what exactly is the question uh, in the us tech uh, you said uh, you um, uh, companies have fallen down a lot right so is there is there any specific uh, uh, sector or the area that that you that you are tracking liking would be would be helpful to know no so now we need to track all of them which have fallen 50 70 80% and then see whose numbers are coming through which managements are executing well give it one or two quarters enough names will emerge from this rubble of the last 4 5 months where uh, the high flyers of post covid have really collapsed so give them time this is another big meltdown that has happened in tech again the same principles watch carefully put them in a screener look at their quarterly numbers look at management guidance look at management commentary and then one or two three winners will begin to emerge it's exactly the same same process that will get you the next 10 bagger out of these sets of companies okay uh, you you said probably probably you had to go so i'll i'll pass on the chance to somebody else who wanted to ask sure. a question Okay. Hi Shankar sir, Sanjay this side again. I think due to some network issue, I have come off from another account as well. But I think Shankar sir, I have a very good question to ask you. Uh, sir, everyone talks about what to look out in a quality stocks. क्या चीजें हमें fundamentally देखनी चाहिए? So what's the basic thing? What we not to look out for? ऐसी क्या चीजें हमें नहीं देखनी चाहिए किसी भी stock या sector के अंदर, so that we can avoid it the bad stocks. Are. तो क्या चीज नहीं देखनी चाहिए मेरे ख्याल से तो आप जितनी चीजें देख सकते हो उतना उतना कम है ओके बट ऑफ दैट ऑफ दैट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट ओवर रेटेड थिंग्स इज समथिंग कॉल्ड क्वालिटी ऑफ मैनेजमेंट बिकॉज क्वालिटी ऑफ मैनेजमेंट यू विल ओनली नो इन हाइंड वो दस साल के डेटा के बाद ही मालूम चलता है कि क्वालिटी था कि नहीं था but the word quality is abused ultimately that quality has to come through on numbers and numbers alone rest is all perception and i only say this market mein ya perception ko remove karo let us talk numbers and data if the company's cash flows have been good if the receivable management has been good if the capex numbers have been very reasonable relative to the amount of revenue generated from each rupee of capex created you know if the if the margin stability has been good uh, of course you know there are things like contingent liabilities which are extremely important to watch out for if those hygiene checks are in place only then i say it's a good quality management and the other thing is that i am not interested in buying only good quality companies i have always said this the biggest money will not be made in quality companies the biggest money is made in when very poor quality becomes average quality okay so maine to aaj tak 100 share nahi liya hindustan lever ka nahi nestle ka aur aisa nahi ki maine paise nahi banaye so the point is that <laughs> there is no uh, you know think of course i mean i say that i am a professional investor i have access to management they will come and meet me you know i will get a level of access that a small investor will never be able to get but even without that level of access you can still have good screeners 
in which you can track parameters you can track which companies numbers have grown sequentially top line whose margins have improved sequentially whose whose pat has improved sequentially if you put basic screeners in place and in today today in this world there are so many good softwares available that we were that we never had it back then you have to subscribe to bloomberg to get it you know you can build a decent portfolio just out of screeners i mean it's like a different world today and all of you guys if you are young you have an advantage over all of us who have been around a long time but we never had those advantages that that you guys today have it on your app use it please exploit it to the hilt exploit this data revolution exploit this information revolution i'm telling you build good screeners you will find amazing level of a uh, parity between yourself and professional investors that's literally amazing sir i think i still remember when i was at the age of 15 when i started studying about the stock market there was no internet and ab jaake when it comes to internet we can easily access all this information right. sir i think i have a last question i think lot of audiences have come up with their questions part as well. but last question which i need to ask you Is that so? You said you being asked today in the session. You be wearing a green shirt with a mustache part. So the question about this thing is about when it comes to selection of any stock, any company. You said we always look at the numbers part, but when it comes to exiting of any company stock part, what main thing we need to look out for, or what as an investor we need to control in ourselves? You mean the exit rules? Is that is that your question? Yes. So ना मैं एंट्री एक दिन में करता हूँ ना ही एग्जिट एक दिन में करता हूँ आई मीन देर विल बी वेरी रेयर ओकेजन वेन अ ब्रॉड मार्केट सेल ऑफ यू नो लाइक टू थाउजेंड और टू थाउजेंड एट हैपन दैट्स अ डिफरेंट थिंग दैट्स अ मैक्रो कॉल अदरवाइज कंपनी लेवल कॉल्स में एग्जिट बिकम्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हैव आई मेड अ लॉड ऑफ मनी ऑलरेडी एम आई मोर देन सेटिस्फाइड एंड वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग रिमेंबर दिस in every stock we look at like hdfc bank has compounded i think 25% over 25 years something like that right but but if you look at its first 5 or 10 years the compounding was 40 or 45% after that the numbers after that the compounding has dropped it is the same with every single multi bagger over 20 25 years there is a point of time when the return decay you know sets in that is usually the point when let's say a stock has flatlined after a 40 50% compounding over 5 years 7 years that's a time at least take some money off the table because it no stock can compound 40 50% per year in the history of the world it has never happened boss forget it it's not going to happen so first level of exit is just if the returns have been so excessive that it cannot continue like that take some money off the table at least your capital is back so is a substantial amount of profit the rest is only a matter of looking at incremental data points with the quarterly numbers and the sector and the macros to decide when the rest of it is exited if you follow this broad rule i think you will still be in even in the worst of situations you will come out ahead because your capital plus a significant profit is already in your bag That's literally amazing, sir. I think जो दो क्वेश्चन से entry and exit. You tell us about what things we as an investor need to look out for. So just a last word question. A single word you can answer it out as well, if it's possible for you, sir. Uh, sir, what condition, like what type of investor condition or what kind of comment you will give to an investor which is right now making a mistake? ऐसा investor अभी क्या mistake कर रहा है जिसको आप एक word में comment करना चाहेंगे? मैं कह रहा हूं मिस्टेक तो हम भी आज आज भी करते हैं मेरे भाई तो 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 मिस्टेक तो मैं वेलकम करता हूं अपनी गलतियों से मैं सीखता हूं मेरे में कोई ईगो नहीं है आई थिंक आई एम स्टिल अ वेरी वेरी यंग स्टूडेंट इन दिस मार्केट आई हैव नो एरोगेंस आई हैव नो ईगो आई कंटिन्यू टू बिलीव दैट आई एम इन किंडर and if i believe that i think you absolutely have to believe that you are in kindergarten if you keep that open a mind you will succeed like magic in this business That's totally true. That's why we all are the bachcha parties here, learning from you. Sanjay, I think your voice is still breaking, so I think I'll uh, uh, give a word of thanks from all our side to uh, 
Shankar sir and Shankar sir, we were able to manage thousand live listeners, which was a record at that point of time. And next time when you come, we promise you a much bigger figure and more parties. And uh, obviously, uh, we will take you out for lassi also uh, if you come. <laughs> 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 uh, so that is there from my side. And thank you, sir. You were uh, brutally honest, and you gave us a lot of hints. We are going to go over, over them again and try to be better investors and better human beings. Sir, would you uh, could you end it with a? We heard that you sing very well. A, a two lines from a song, sir. ठीक है चलो. ए फूलों की रानी बहारों की मलिका तेरा मुस्कुराना गजब हो गया ए फूलों की रानी बहारों की मलिका तेरा मुस्कुराना गजब हो गया न दिल होश में है न हम होश में है नजर का मिलाना गजब हो गया जैसे लाइक वेन यू मीट अ ब्यूटिफुल वुमन और यू मीट अ ब्यूटिफुल स्टॉक जब वो देख के हंसती है स्माइल करती है तो यही गाना दिल में आता है thank you so much sanjay you want to say something i would give my word of thanks to yes 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 i am also giving thank you so much sir i think aaj aapne pura combination bitha diya gaane ke sath sath with your comments for green shirt to mujhe lag raha hai hame podhe mein paani dalna chahiye taki green pattiya nikal ke aaye aur jaldi acche phoolon ki khushboo mein ke great guys thank you very much i got to run now i got a distance to travel thank you so much for being sir thank here thank we you. are looking forward to have more lunch sir, sir. thank you wonderful thank you sir so chetan yeah you can just uh, say a word of thanks to all the audience and the listeners who have come and then we can i think close the room yes sure sir thank you sir so guys thank you so much i think aap is session mein aaye i hope aap sab ne aaj kuch na kuch learning seekhi hogi due to network issue part mai mere original account se nahi aa paya mera ek aur company account tha so i come on that part but i hope aap sab ki learning kafi achhi hogi and also if you want to learn more तो हमारा एक क्लब बना रखा है हमने ट्विटर में द कम्युनिटी क्लब जहाँ पे वी कीप ऑन ट्विटिंग अबाउट द फ्यूचर स्पीकर सेशन या कहाँ पे आपको लर्निंग मिल सकती है द क्लब नेम इज द इंडियन स्टॉक मार्केट सो आई थिंक जल्दी हम उसको मैं ट्वीट पे मैं शेयर आउट भी करने वाला हूँ तो आप, आप उसको ज्वाइन अप कर सकते ताकि फ्यूचर में ऐसे अमेजिंग सेशन स्पीकर आएंगे जहाँ से हमारी लर्निंग बढ़ सकती है मार्केट के बारे में तो आपको वो मिस आउट नहीं करना चाहिए जैसे कि शंकर सर सर ने कहा मिस एट योर ओन रिस्क तो उसी तरह मार्केट की रिस्क को मिस करने से अच्छा है कि हम हमारी लर्निंग को बढ़ा सके विद दिस थिंग चेतन सर ओवर टू यू या फंक्शन आई ऑलवेज आई ऑलवेज म्यूट माय सेल्फ व्हेन अ फेलो स्पीकर इज स्पीकिंग आई हैव लर्न टू क्लब हाउस सो फ्रेंड्स वी वर अर्लियर ऑन क्लब हाउस बट ड्यू टू सम अदर थिंग हेलो सर आवाज आ रही है प्लीज कंटिन्यू आई या अर्लियर फ्रेंड्स वी वर ऑन क्लब हाउस बट नाउ Uh, we have moved on to the professional twitter spaces there are some glitches so please excuse us at times we cannot see requests or sometimes there's some sound bite so we will keep you informed of our next session very soon and hope to see you soon all of you and thank you sanchet reema manigarh and all the other people who came in uh, and uh, our media people from money control the dhuravel uh, uh, vikas batra ji from stock mart and saloni ma'am who moved off and uh, varun vaid ji also and many other people who have come in and i think sir money has also linked up the link upside the indian stock market club so guys i think aapko search karne ki zarurat nahi just that click away get it and we'll get back soon with you some amazing sessions Thank this you. thing let's go ahead sir okay guys goodbye shabakhair goodnight shubhratri okay